Hello and welcome everyone to this week's COT Review. I'm Thomas from cotbase.com. Today we're going to be looking at the 50th Commitments of Traders Report of 2020. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. And here we have the British Pan with a 16% change on top of our list. You can see that chain size over there being much greater than average. It suggests we could see further uh, decline in the uh, early part of next week. We've already seen uh, some decline uh, this week. If we move on to the five years chart, then we get a chance to analyze the COT extreme. And if you compare it to this five years time horizons, definitely leaning towards the bearish side of the market. We have seen much greater uh, bearish extremes like the one I'm showing to you from 2018, April of 2018. It's a great example that, uh, you know, things can get even more stressed uh, in the market. So we're not at those levels, which just, you know, draws the caution of, you know, not jumping in uh, to this market right away. Uh, it's definitely a stress level that we should talk about, but I'm just saying it could get even uh, bigger in the next few weeks, month ahead of us. The next market will be feeder cattle where we can see a 12% change in commercials positions. You can see that chain size over there. It's a bit larger than average, but I wouldn't really consider this to be such a big uh, COT chain signal. Might as well jump over to the five years chart and examine the extreme situation, which is more bullish uh, right now. Um, if you look at the charts here, uh, we had a uh, even greater bullish extreme a few weeks ago uh, in October. Uh, just at that bottom when actually large speculators were pretty uh, extreme about the market commercials not that much uh, but together with the uh, small speculators they they were actually uh, so basically large speculators and small speculators were at an extreme uh, and that pushed the market higher uh, and this can easily continue because we are not at those bearish extreme levels like the one I'm showing to you from November of 2017 so that just says you know this uh, trend uh, could continue we may see uh, further strengthening in the feeder cattle market. Rough rice will be the next market with a uh, an eleven percent change in commercials positions. Uh, you can see that change size over there, bit larger than average, but once again, nothing too unusual. We've seen much greater changes in the past. This suggests we could see a bit of a strengthening in rough rice in the next few days. Now on this five years chart, you can examine the COT extreme situation and you can see that for quite some time, uh, we've been in this um, bearish extreme territory. So uh, uh, just so you see on this five years chart, we've got some uh, bullish extreme zones. Um, this one over here, a beautiful example at that bottom. Again, a few more examples, this zone. So we are more or less in this bearish extreme zone, but as you may see, it's not a market that really gives us too much uh, dynamics. So we might want to look over to large speculator COT extreme and see whether or not we've got something, uh, some other opportunities. And we have copper on top of a list with all time COT extreme in large speculators. And that's the case for commercials too. It is a huge bearish COT extreme, very, very large. Now, of course, never forget, uh, markets correlate with each other and I would suggest uh, you to look at other metal markets possibly um, indexes as well if uh, we're talking about the copper market nevertheless so it's it's a huge bearish extreme all time it's been there for some weeks now it's just getting larger and larger and larger now I've warned you many times in the past and I'm gonna say it again that all-time COT extremes although you know they look like ex exceptionally uh, rare uh, they do come and, and once they're in the market, they could be there for many, many weeks or even months before the market reacts. So that's something you should keep in mind. Uh, so this tells us the story that uh, copper uh, is in rally mode and uh, uh, all market participants have increased their positions to an extreme level. Commercials uh, just building up their net short positions and large speculators their net long positions to levels that we've never seen in the COT history of copper. So that's just a huge warning that we may see a major shift in the trend over here. Japanese yen is our next market with a 217 report extreme in large speculators, 240 in commercials. Again, we're talking about uh, decent size extremes. This is bearish, of course. 
You may see the last time we were at such levels that was actually coinciding with a top in the market uh, and that it took some time, but it eventually uh, uh, collapsed or, well, we, we've seen a bit of a, a downturn in the Japanese yen. And that's something we are expecting to see uh, again based on this current COT extreme uh, level that we have. And last but not least, let's open the New Zealand dollar with a 134 report extreme in large speculators. And you can see that on the chart over there. Uh, also, uh, commercials uh, at 135 report extreme. This can this can uh, go even larger. I mean, uh, you can go back to 2018 uh, or even uh, August of 2017 to find much greater extremes. So that's just something you should keep in mind before you jump into this market and start selling uh, because we could reach those levels uh, before uh, this uh, trend uh, breaks. That was all for this review. Of course, this was a short, brief review as always, uh, but you can do much more here at COT Base. Uh, analyze new COT report types, other data types, uh, any data set that you're interested in. Uh, you can, of course, look at all the market categories available and dig deeper into your analysis with our great tools like uh, uh, COT uh, Extremes that I showed you, the COT Index, the Move Index. We have this long-term trend indicator, very, very helpful tool, and we also analyze volume and open interest. So that was all for this review. I appreciate your attention. Thank you very much for being with me. I wish you a pleasant weekend. Take care. Goodbye.